have a mind that's open to everything and attach to nothing ralph waldo emerson we need to have a mind that's open to new things concepts philosophies ways of doing something most importantly to new wisdom also we shouldn't be biased attached or even afraid of giving up on old habits or useless beliefs notions ways of doing things most importantly biased philosophical concepts i agree belief is the foundation of life but what you believe in shapes your destiny it is extremely important to be closer to the ground reality if you feed your mind with destructive non scientific biased prejudiced beliefs that's what you base your very existence on or your life will be chaotic this alone can seal the fate on the contrary if you feed your mind with constructive scientific unbiased free of prejudice unambiguous beliefs certainly you can be sure of having a bright future creating a better environment for the love of your future generations this is extremely important people believe in blind ill beliefs lead a life of chaos and destruction unfortunately there are a few religions which support and glorify this by imposing certain religious laws like blasphemy the deepest sin against the human mind is to believe things without evidence this concept is emphasized by quite a lot of philosophers like dr wayne dyer buddha shri shankaracharya shri madhvacharya so on have a mind that's always open to new things and not attached to old things question everything assume nothing learn the truth buddha one unique feature of sanatana dharma is any theory has to be provided with proof called pramana the pramana has to be in the form of a text from the stanzas given in vedas upanishads puranas brahma sutras without proof no philosophy is accepted this can be seen in the propositions made by all the three acharyas shri shankara shri ramanujar and shri madhva in the book shriman nyaya sudha shri madhva acharya and vedas are described as shuddha pramana in the sense the philosophy advocated by acharya madhva has provided complete clarity on all the aspects of brahman we don't see merely with our eyes we see everything with our thoughts perceptions and judgments although some of the vedic scriptures like kathopanishad says says spirituality is beyond all logic and is so almighty spirituality has a logic which is beyond the human logic human logic is limited but the divine logic is unlimited and beyond the reach of humans radicalism just feeds your ego while true liberalism that is non pseudo lets your mind open to possibilities most importantly to different wisdoms it opens your mind to different perspectives reduce biases and strengthen your spiritual concepts we need concrete evidence to accept anything this is given by pramana and it is further clarified through debates now you can ask me why should the pramana has to be from the vedas the word veda is derived from the dhatu vid which means know or understand it is said that apaurishayaha vedaha which means vedas are not written by or created by anybody but they have existed since times infinite also it is said ananta vai vedaha which means vedas are the infinite source of knowledge or wisdom a person's knowledge or cognition can be biased or filled with ambiguity but vedas are not since they are not created by anyone it is free of ambiguity bias or prejudice the main intention of providing veda pramanaha is clear is to clear all doubts uh, about the philosophical concepts 
and to ensure that there aren't any void imaginations or any sort of propositions void imaginations that are based on the propositions have a mind that's open to new things and not attached to anything that doesn't mean you should question what you have taught what has been taught by your elders about life rituals and spirituality but it does mean we need to understand human minds continue to be biased prejudiced about something or the other throughout we need to solve our doubts about philosophical concepts or anything it doesn't mean we should question condemn all rituals try to understand the science behind those rituals also the rituals are time tested spiritual awakening is nothing but the process of finding your truths we see many individuals who argue about philosophies without even understanding it and most importantly they don't scan it through their conscience and consciousness without doing any of this they blindly follow some things they argue fight with others unleash the power of mind to unleash the power of you personally i was the worst affected a decade ago i used to blindly believe in astrology prophecies which created fear anxieties in me it took a hell lot of efforts to change those beliefs and induce scientific acumen within i was reborn when i completely reengineered redesigned the belief system this renewed my spirit if you and a fool have an argument he succeeds an old african proverb lost like blasphemy paralyzes the individual's questioning rights of the of the belief or the believer ignorance is the root cause of all vices consciousness is the root cause of all virtues we need to be free thinkers no thought or concept should be too holy to change your beliefs about it because it is the question of your spiritual awakening no one else could do this for you we should be clear on our truths let wisdom flow towards you from all directions like the river water reaching its sea this is a quote from rigveda albert einstein quoted science without religion is lame religion without science is blind anything we believe in must be by, based on scientific phenomena it is very easy to believe in myths but rectifying them takes a lot of efforts by that time what would have it would have caused the max damage to your lives stoic say the world is objective we make our lives complicated by making biased subjective assumptions anything uh, assumptions about it truth is objective we can only realize it through subjectivity nowadays we hear a lot of application of vedic sciences in various fields like mathematics technology and so on it's called vedic science because it is all based on science we simply believing in biased prejudiced notions and half truths isn't going to solve any problem live your life based on truths not on illusory fantasies jesus christ said doubts are traitors the main motto of being spiritual is to seek truth not just blindly believe anyone or anybody religion is following the messenger spirituality is following the message and and the messenger most importantly being spiritual encourages scientific thinking as we remain as a closed mindset person we start to experience spiritual stagnation those who are destined to realize truth will realize it no need to argue with or pressurize them on your truths every day we need to improve ourselves unless we start to think in new better ways unless we take some action on our new improved ideas we remain same remaining same is going back roger federer says remaining same is going back when others are working hard and improving every day you may be having the best idea that doesn't mean it has to be implemented in the same way there would be many different improved ways of executing things 
The person who doesn't have to learn anything at any point of time is nothing but a fictional character. Bible says, "Be ye transformed by renewal of your mind." The secret of change is to focus all your energy not on fighting the old but on building the new. This is quoted by this is a quote by Socrates. The secret to success lies in self improvement and self improvement can happen only when we analyze ourselves our actions thoughts and bring in new ideas or new ways of improving our life different actions produce different results the more you learn to accept and learn from your failures closer you are getting to success life coaches like robin sharma and others suggest journaling thoughts on everyday basis When we note down our thoughts activities of the day we can think of improving ourselves journaling on day to day basis helps us to prevent repetition of mistakes this assists in self improvement and finally don't believe in anything that doesn't comply with your conscience and inner consciousness we need to believe in what's truth and truth always remains objective don't believe in biased notions half truths hope this inspires you Thank you so much.